Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, Dennis Itumbi has caused a heated debate on social media after sharing a tweet in his effort to try and market William Ruto's Hustlers Fund. And according to the tweet that Itumbi shared, he was trying to show that uh, the Hustlers Fund is now impacting on people's life. That's the first thing he was trying to show. Number two, he was trying to paint a picture that finally people are starting to pay the hustlers fund and the payment has increased up to 50%. That is the rating that is giving to the hustlers fund on people who are repaying their debt. But unfortunately, Itumi has ended up exposing William Samuel Ruto. Maybe unknowingly or knowingly. And this is the tweet it will be shared. Results of the President William Ruto led revolution Hasla Fund have started showing through impact stories as the as that happened, repayment has now gone past fifty percent. Very encouraging. That's the tweet that Itumbi shared. But then you can see in this tweet, there is a photo. And in that photo, you can see we have a young man there. He has right. You can see he wrote the name. Though it's not very clear. And on the other side, there is a photo of President William Samuel Ruto, or Mandikapo Dr. William Ruto. Then there you can see a photo of uh, the item that he's selling actually. I mean, I up a hustler fund in Aweza. Hapo chini wa meandika wambugu grocery. So this is a kind of a fruit vendor. You can see there is fruit on display, different kinds of fruit. One simple question I want to ask here before we continue with this analysis. How much in your own view do you think this person invested in this business? Just take a clear, a clear look on the items on display. Then consider to put the consider to put the cost of the construction of this structure. And also don't forget to put the cost of the banner that he has used to advertise his business and to advertise the Hustlers Fund. Tell me in the comment section how much in your own view is the total input, the capital in this business. As we continue, just a quick request for those who are watching and you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, thank you so much and again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you and back to this discussion. <laughs> you know, sometime back in an interview, Dennis Tumbi said that his work is here and there. And he's not being paid for that job. But we know it was a total lie. And I remember coming here on this channel to explain to you the reason why Dennis Etumbi will not be employed on a specific office. The reason was that Ruto was going to use Etumbi for the dirty job. Because he did not want Dennis Etumbi to be in an office where he will be honorable or accountable to the work he's doing. So these are the things we were talking about that Ruto was going to use Dennis Etumbi to do in his government. That's why you see up to now, Itumbi has no specific role in William Ruto's government. But we know he's on payment. These are some of the ghost workers in Ruto's government. So his job he can never be accounted for. His work is literally to lie. To create fake perception. To hoodwink Kenyans. To mislead people in this country. To show as if Ruto is working when literally he's messing up the country. Because the truth is that 
to run such kind of business in my own view, I can see if you put the calculation there, this capital can never be less than 30,000. The banner that you see there, it can cost up to not less than 3,000. The rest is the input of the structure and the, then the, the stock. So the entire capital will never be less than 30,000 in my own view. Then the first question we're asking Eden is to me. Is there anyone in this country who have borrowed up to 30,000 in Hansler's fund? Successful. Anyone who has attempted it, that amount is not going more than two, 500 shillings. I have seen people who have borrowed it more than three times and repaying back, but their borrowing rate is not increasing. It has remained flat at 500 Kenyan shillings. So that is a total lie. You can see from here. 30,000 from Hustlers Fund, no one has managed that. Even William Ruto, when he tried to borrow, the only amount he got was 1,000. And in fact, it is so much interesting. Eh? There is one guy who criticized Dennis Tumbi on his post, and this was a very constructive criticism. A man by the name Eric Otich. Let us just uh, listen to what Eric, Eric Otich uh, is saying about this post. Itumbi, memaliza kutengeneza hiyo post wambugu. Iko redi mwishmiwa. Kuja upige picha. Itumbi, hiyo tutaweka Twitter and will tag the president. Wambugu, hapo sawa. Nangoja yangu kwa mpesa. Itumbi, usijali hasla. Iyo mtu wangu wa mkono atakusote. <laughs> if Ruto wanted Hustlers Fund to be a successful story in this country, then the lowest amount he could have given to the people, it should be 30,000 or 20,000. Just like Youth Fund, Weather Fund, Women Fund, all those things. Give it 20,000 going forward. For 20,000, someone can run such kind of business. 30,000, 50,000, it can be a successful story. But Ruto alikuwa nataka tu kupea watu fululiza. Someone is just in the business. So this is a thanks advertisement Dennis Tumbi is doing for William Ruto. It's a thanks advert. Just to wink mislead Kenyans that this thing is working. He's telling people now that the rating of repayment is 50%. This is January. Hii ni January bwana. Na hii ni Kenya. Tunajua mambo ya Kenya. Hii January ya kunanga pesa bwana Dennis Tumbi. December ilikuwa na wakati wa kukopa. January ya kuna mtu analipa kitu kwa sababu kila mtu anda pesa. People are thinking about their children going back to school. The bills. So many things. January inakuanga imekauka. Wacha kutuletea uongo wakati wa januari. Tafuna siku ingine ukuja na iyo uongo yako. And by the way, <laughs> even if it will be wanted to lie, at least he could have looked for a, something better. He is allowed to lie. Let him lie. But at least look for a lie that can sell. Because this one is an open lie which can never sell anywhere. Instead, even is just exposing William Ruto. These are the kind of people who are working under William Ruto. Youth, the kind of jobs Ruto are giving to Ruto is giving to the youth. And the people like himself and David are the people who are running now William Ruto's government. Okay, the last roles are mepewa. So some to come ahuyo, they are going to be able to come higher because to tell us to wake up, are accountable on what he's telling us. You will never see him coming to give such kind of lies. Easy because I can I too be have an apart. So it too does not have a specific role. Kazi yake ni kazi ya kufana mambo ya uchafu kama hii. Kudanganya wa Kenya. Do I know kwa mina mambo ya haiko. Hasla's fan will never be a successful story in Kenya. It will remain to be a hot air. No matter how long it will keep on lying to Kenyans. This thing will never sell. Because this is someone who is just in business and is coming just trying to replace Fululiza. 
and the worst of this one is that they are taking some amount of money wana kuambia this money is going to your savings first for saving then interest is also there so how much are you taking from that every time you take so ukichukua 500 you end up getting 400 and something not the entire 500 <laughs> That is the situation we are in now. So Itumbi is literally damaging William Ruto by trying to sell fake lie, fake you see fake news, things that no one can never believe in it. Elefumoja squeeze yata ina maana Kenya, ayeze ije chochote. Sasa miatano ina kazi gani katika uchumi huu ambao umodhoroteka katika inche Kenya. Mwishimiwa Ruto, fanyia wa Kenya kazi, wacha kutumia watu wa wangu kudanganya wa Kenya kwa mambo ambayo hata hayana msingi kabisa 